You ready? I'm can, ready. can we talk now on live TV? I'm ready. I'm okay. Ready. Okay. Deep breath. Uh, fourth All Star appearance for Paul George, but most importantly, the first for your daughter. Yes. You brought her. Where is she? She's uh, actually in a room right now. Her, okay. uh, my sister's kids are uh, just getting into town, so she's not even worried about me right now. She's worried about playing with her cousins. With the cousins, so party on Bourbon Street for three-year-olds, <laughs> basically. Well, that's good. That means that you have to go home, and you have to stay off Bourbon Street. Yeah, that, but that's fine. I can use a little rest. Uh -huh. um, we know. I'm trying to get as much rest as I can this weekend. Yep. So uh, I'm fine with her playing with her cousins, tiring them out. Okay, what's up with the Pacers? I'm just going to put it out there. Elle said it, too. A little, little bit of losing streak here coming in. What's yeah, up? Yeah, we're struggling. We're struggling. But I, I think we're playing really good teams, uh, and we're playing teams that have been together for a while. Um, you know, we're a new nucleus, a new squad. Um, we're still trying to figure one another out, even late in, uh, into the season. Um, but I, I think that's really what we're facing. You know, we got a little above ourselves playing teams that we should have been beating. So your, your winning streak before this losing streak. Right, right. We were beating the teams we should have been beating. And then now here's the real task of uh, playing against playoff teams. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we're we're getting our butts kicked. But um, I think it's it's in our favor. If we can figure out we're still positioned well. We're in the sixth spot. Sixth spot. Um, if we can figure out how to win against these playoff teams, it should help build character going into the playoffs. Okay. So as Elle said, face the franchise. What are you doing to try to turn this around? Just, man, just staying positive, uh, doing everything I possibly can each night, uh, and just taking the load of being the leader, um, trying to get everybody on the same page night in and night out. It's been a, a task. It's been rough. I haven't always been the vocal guy. I didn't have to uh, right. in my previous years with the Pacers. Um, but now I have to do it on the court, and I have to do it, uh, you know, both physically and verbally. Um, and that's been that's been different for me. It's been different for me. I, I tend to be to myself sometimes mm -hmm. and, and comfortable with that as long as everybody comes ready to play. Now I have to make sure everybody's ready to play. And it's been a different task. Yeah, so, so what do you tell yourself? Okay, tough situation. Let me speak up at halftime. I mean, how do you change? Because that's not who you've been. Yeah, I think the thing is I've never been like a confrontational person. Right. Um, so, you know, I'm, I don't mind if, if I have to, but that's never been my role, and I've never been comfortable uh, with confrontation. Um, I, I kind of been the person that, you know, let's let it play out and, and see where that goes. So it's it's different having to confront people and having to be vocal and uh, being on guys' cases because uh, you just never know how, you know, some people take things uh, differently. Sure. New head coach. I mean, Nate's been with the system, Nate McMillan, for, for three years, but he's the guy. Frank Vogel's out. That was tough for a lot of people because uh, Vogel's Vogel. He did so much. You had such a great relationship with him. Right. Uh, what has that transition been like? Uh, it's been different. Um, it's been difficult to start out. Um, uh, don't get me wrong. I have all the trust in, in Nate. Mm -hmm. uh, but you just get used to something, and, and, you know, he's been my coach since I've been in the NBA. Uh, so you've just been comfortable. And, um, you know, now it's, it's trying to build a new relationship, yeah. build a new uh, trust and establishment with Nate, which we're, we're, we're getting a lot better with. Um, again, I've always trusted him and always had faith in him as our head coach. Now it's just about building that chemistry up. And, right. You know, I knew coaches, uh, Frank's mind uh, on and off the court. Now I'm trying to learn Nate's. So uh, it's, it's, it's a little bit of both of us trying to get to know one yeah. another. Are you staying in Indiana? I would like to. Um, I would like to. I think the biggest thing is is wanting to win a championship and be the first uh, to win the championship and bring that to Indiana. Um, they have some of the greatest fans, and, and we have one of the best fan bases. Uh, just their love of basketball is is so different um, in in any other state uh, that I want I want to give them that. But your name is right there with all the trade rumors right now. We're six days away from the trading deadline. Um, what are you hearing from your agent? Like, what, what's your gut about this? Because it is a business at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, man, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, as far as I know, I'm committed. Um, you know, I, I tell my agent, you know, until it happens, you know, let it happen. Uh, but leave me out of it. Yeah. You know, I'm focused okay. on. I got a focus of trying to get this team back on board. And, uh, you know, all that other stuff, leave me out of it. You'll find out if there's if there's I'll something to be told out. about. Yeah. Uh, as we send it back to Bristol, remember, 41 points last year. This guy scored in the All-Star game, but the East lost, so you did not win the MVP. And you're sad. still bitter. I was sad. So what does it mean on Sunday? You Revenge. were sad, you said? Re I was hurt. <laughs> I was hurt. 
because I had a chance to not only win the MVP, but break the scoring uh, record for All-Star Game. Yes, and by... And took that from me. Will Chamberlain, yes. 42. Yes. Yes. Who set that record for years. I, forever. And I had a chance to beat it, and they took that away from me. They took it away. So okay. I'm going, I'm going for a 50-piece. So it's a, <laughs> it's a revenge game for Paul George in the East on Sunday. In the East, again, have lost five of the last six years. Just saying, so, like, let's focus, okay? Right, right. Let's get it together. Come on, East. Okay, you can toss it back, back to L in Bristol for me, okay? L, we're coming back to you. We're going to get this. The East.